Good morning, afternoon or evening, depending on what time you're watching. So, we are in the middle of a coronavirus lockdown, which means no driving lessons can be given at all, unfortunately. But I've decided to use the time wisely and finally get round to doing a few videos that I've had as just as thoughts in my mind for quite some time, but due to being busy with lessons, I've just never got round to doing them. Okay, so today's video is going to be all about helping you guys prepare for your theory test. I'll be showing you my favourite app that I like to use and get my students to download and use for themselves too. And also be showing you all its various features. Okay, hope you find it useful. Enjoy. Okay, so this is the app that you're going to be using. The official DVSA theory test for car drivers. Okay, it's got a little bar across the bottom here with a few little bits and pieces which I'm going to go through individually. Okay, so one of the things that I see a lot of when people first start revising for the theory test is they get the app and they click straight on mock test either there or there. Now when you take a mock test, it's not going to show you every single question that is in the app. Okay, It's only going to give you the 50 questions for your actual mock test. Now let's say you on your mock test you get, you do well on it but you haven't had any questions to do with motorways. Now you might get that happen to you for four, five, six tests in a row and you have, still haven't had any questions to do with motorways but you've been passing them. So you start to think to yourself that you're ready for your actual test. You go off and take your actual test and you get five, six questions to do with motorways and you've got no knowledge of that because you haven't done the full revision. So what I'm hoping to do is show you through this app how to go through all the individual categories. So regardless of whether you've come across the question or not previously, because you've done the theory and you've done the revision, you'll be able to answer the questions. So before we go through all those elements, let's have a look at this bar along the bottom. Sorry if the lighting keeps changing. Okay, so let's tap on there again, there we go. Okay, <clears throat> so we've got this bar along the bottom, so let's start with the section that says study. So we'll press on there. Okay, so there's no topics done at the moment and 14 topics to do. So let's click start study. Now these are all the individual elements that you're gonna be, that you can read through in your own time. Now, bearing in mind that if you're already having driving lessons, you will be having a lot of this explained to you as well on your lessons. Okay, so in each of these, I've also got different sections in them. So if we start at the top, and there we go, you've got five sections in there as well. So let's start with the observations. And like I said, I'm not going to be going through the whole thing. It's just to give you an idea of how the app works. Okay, so then you make your way so you can read through each page. When you've read it, you can just click, yes, I've read it. Just make your way through the five sections. Yes, I've read this. Okay. And then at the bottom, don't know if it's picking it up on the camera, but at the bottom here it says practice this topic. So you could then go into practice or you could study another topic. So we'll just move into study another topic and it'll take you back. Now that's that screen there. That top one now that we started on has now gone green. So you know you've done all the reading that is necessary on there for now. Okay. So we'll just take that back also because then it shows you that you've done one topic there and you've got 13 left to read through in your own time. Taking it back, and then when you're back on the home screen, it showed you that your study is up to 7%. Okay, so moving along to the next two, which is practice and mock test. But I'd like to save those until last. So moving on to the next one, which is extras. Okay, so in here you'll find a lot of very useful links. Okay, When I'm working on the theory test with my students, a lot of them haven't even clicked on this page or know this page existed because they just get stuck straight into doing the mock test but on here i can say if we just work on the top one then it says find a driving test center click on that and it takes you straight to the gov.uk website find a theory test center enter your postcode in there press find and it'll take you it'll show you where your nearest test center is you can also do that for the practical test as well so very very useful now I'll just take you back again, because one of the other ones, uh, like I say, you can work your way through these and just have a look to see which ones are useful for you. Okay, but this one is there, so it says the official highway code. Click on that, and it's literally got the whole highway code with, built in within the app. So you don't have to go and get yourself one of the books, and it's got every page in there. So it's got everything. You don't have to fl flick through it page by page. You can use this just to drag it along, and it'll take you through to different pages that you need but yeah i find that very very useful as well okay moving on to the next section which is settings okay if you've got a theory test booked already you can enter the date of it there now this bit here it says quick test number of questions okay because what you can do when you go into the practice section you can actually take where it says quick test and 
you can just have 10, 20 or 30 questions. Because once you take a mock test, you'll be expected to answer 50 questions. And you might not have time to sit and answer 50 questions. You might just want to take a quick test if you sat on the bus or something like that. So that's a good place to just be able to think about taking a quick test and edit the amount of questions. Next up, it's voiceover. Now, if you were to click that, that would read all of the questions out to you instead of you having to read the questions. And I know a lot of people have found that very, very useful as well. Uh, usage information, that's just where the app collects your information and helps them improve the app itself. So if you're happy for them to do that, you can click on there. You can reset the scores. And if you want more information about it, you can click on the about. So that's that section. OK, let's get stuck into the section that I'd like to use the most, and that is the practice section. So we're going to go into here. At the top here, you've got, you can track your performance as you're going along. At the minute, it's zeroed off, so you've got 0% answered and 100% accuracy. OK, uh, as you go along, that will obviously alter. And then just here, you can analyse your performance by pressing on that. And it will show you the areas that you're doing well on, the areas that are not doing so well on. So then you can work on specific areas that might need a little bit more work. Okay, going back. You've then got practice topics. Okay, so you go into there and these are all the individual categories that you're going to have to go through. Now at this point, I'd usually recommend as well that you do purchase the app and don't just get the free one that you can get. Because the free one has only got available these first four or five these ones are all blocked out so you can't actually practice any of those on the free one so do make sure you purchase it it's only 4.99 and you get uh, the hazard perception and the theory multiple choice so it's definitely worth buying okay so we'll go through those in a moment going back and then you've got quick test which you went into earlier on and you can it just goes straight into a quick test um but as we said earlier on, just get rid of that section there. You sure you have to close the practice? Yeah. Okay, but on the quick test, you will have gone into the settings and set the amount of questions that you want to do. Okay, so that's that bit. Okay, so let's go back to the practice topics because that's what we're here to do. So we're going to there. Now you've got all the categories. Okay, and you can highlight the ones that you want to work on. So if you felt that you needed to work on hazard awareness and vehicle handling, you could literally click on those ones in vehicle handling and then if you started that would only bring up questions on those okay so you can choose what you want to practice whereas when you go into a mock test it'll just give you random ones so some you'll know some you'll have no idea of okay so take those out but to start with what i'd recommend doing is start from the beginning and go through all of those one category at a time get the information on all of them okay so doing that, so we'll go into alertness to start off with, and we'll go into start at the bottom there. Now at the bottom there it says all questions and case studies. Okay, so we'll go for all questions. Okay. <clears throat> uh, now I'm not going to read the questions and answers at all out. I'll just talk through a way of using the app again. Okay. So you get your question and your four multiple choice answers. Now if you're 100% in your head that you know the answer. Click on your answer, move on to the next one, okay? Uh, if there's any doubt in your mind, even if it's only the smallest bit of doubt, we've got this explain button at the bottom. Now, if you go into a mock test, you don't have that button. What happens then is you'll get your questions and you'll be like, oh, I'm not too sure, I'm going to have to make a bit of a guess. You'll guess on it, you might get it right, might get it wrong. But the thing is, if you get it correct, you, you might get that same question come up again later on. But because you guessed at it last time, you're going to have to guess again because you'll be like, uh, still not. Because it's unlikely that you're going to remember the answer that you put from before if you just took a guess. Now, with this explain button, if you're unsure, you can press that and it gives you an explanation. Now, because you've read up on it, the information is more likely to stay in your head. And if the question comes up again after you've read something up, it will actually help that information stay in there. So you've got a better chance if that question comes up again of getting it correct the next time. Not only that, on some of the uh, questions as well, we've got this one here. You press that and that takes you to the exact page of the highway code. So there's a little bit more that you can read up on. OK, so that is one of my favourite tools and one of my favourite things about this app. The fact that it's got that to help you out when you're in the practice section. OK, so take that back. So then what you do is you go back to the question and because you've just done that little bit of reading, you can look on there for the answer and, you, and it will make sense while you're clicking it rather than just having a guess going into practice topics again starting at the top 
It's in start. Oh, the bit that you can't see in the white, it says all questions and case studies. So this time we'll do case studies. Now the way the case studies works is you've got a scenario here, okay, and then you've got multiple choice questions here based on that scenario. So for example, I won't read the whole thing, but just to give you an idea, it starts off with you have a two hour, two hour drive to make on a motorway. You have a cold and your nose is slightly blocked. Then it goes into talking about medication and bits and pieces. Okay, so then you can read these questions, make your answer using the information at the bottom if you feel you need to. Okay, moving on. And then you're going to get five sets of uh, multiple choice questions based on that scenario. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail with it for two reasons. Firstly, because um, from the 14th of April, they're going to be changing it so that you don't have to read the scenario. You'll have a video to watch, which you can re-watch as many times as you like, and then answer the multiple, multiple choice questions based on the video that you've watched. So that's reason number one. Reason number two is, um, with the coronavirus at the moment, all theory tests have been suspended and t for three months. So that's going to take us beyond April anyway. Okay, So there's not too much point in going into this, because by the time you take your theory test... Uh, it would have changed to the video layout rather than the reading of the question. So as soon as it changes and the software updates, I'll update the video. Okay, so let's go into that last section, the mock test. Okay, notice that I've gone into that last when I've gained all the information that I need, not at the beginning before we've even done any revision. Okay, so starting the test. In this mock test, you will have 57 minutes to answer 50 multiple choice questions. A minimum of 43 correct answers is required to pass. Do you wish to proceed? Yes, we do. Click on there. Okay, so the timer is started at, at there. Okay. Uh, then you should know the layout because you've been doing your revision. Okay, the only thing that is different about it now is the fact that we haven't got the explanation button at the bottom, but you have got a flag. Okay. So what the flag means is, once you mark an answer down, so just so we know, red X is on a motorway, people, just so we know, all lanes are going to be closed. We're going to be leaving at the next exit. Okay, But if you were unsure, you press flag and move on. It wouldn't give you any information at all, which is why I say go through the practice ones first, because if you're unsure, you've got explanation and you can do a little bit of reading. Whereas on here, you can't. You've just If you don't know it, you've just got to flag it and guess it and hope for the best. Okay? Moving on to the next one. Okay, then we go through again and you can answer them as you're going through. I'll just hit anything just to speed things up. So you just be making your way through. Okay, now any, like I say, any that you're unsure of now, hit that flag. You will answer it. You will have to answer it and flag it and move on. Once you've flagged the ones that you're unsure of and you've made your way all the way up to 50 questions because it tells you, it tells you how many you've done there. When you get to the end of the 50, it will then say, you can now answer your flagged questions. So it will bring up all those ones that you flagged that you were unsure of, and you can go and answer them again, just to go over them, okay? <clears throat> so that is how to use that, but it's another reason why I'll just uh, emphasize going through the practice, because any that you're unsure of on the practice screen, you can do some revision and go to the highway code pages using the explanation button, whereas you can't do that on the mock test itself. But by the time you get to this screen, you should already have plenty of knowledge to hopefully end up working towards that first time pass. Not quite finished. One more thing. Okay, just in case you're wondering why I've not been over the hazard perception part of the app, uh, I'm going to be doing that in a separate video. So you will be expected to do the theory, uh, multiple choice questions and hazard perception. But as I say, I'll be doing that separately. Thank you very much.